just got done with a run and I'm outside with my girl. Some love. too fast. Good. Go to a model stance, please. Ladies, face the judges so I can see your number. Two inches this way, back to the corner of the room. Good. sit-down vlog um, in the other room and kind of just like talk you guys through where I'm at. Um, this is actually going to be for my nine-week out prep update, but it's almost eight weeks out. Crazy, right? Um, time just kind of like flies by when you're having fun. So, um, but anyway, I'm just kind of like running around. I've been running errands today and taking care of um, things on my to-do list. Uh, if you don't know, I just changed my last name to Phillips, so I went and got that changed at the so whoa. I went and got that changed at the Social Security um, office, and then I had to wait for that to go through. And then I went and got my motorcycle endorsement. Then I went to go get my new license with my name and my motorcycle endorsement um, on my license like a few weeks ago and then since then it's really been like getting all my accounts like bank accounts updated with my name change um i got my new mpc card with my name change and um 
you know, like my insurance and all that good stuff. So just getting like every single thing attached to my life transferred over to my new last name, which is now Phillips. So I went from Feather to Phillips. And um, yeah, it's all starting to feel kind of official. Like I'm officially married. But anyway, so um, I'm actually just getting ready to head off to the gym soon. Um, Chris is gonna meet me there. He's out at his work um, today and visiting his parents. So um, I'm having like a little bit of a crazy hair day today. But um, anyway, so I wanted to talk to you guys about what it is like being this far out from a show. So I guess it's not that far, but nine weeks, eight weeks. Um, gonna be sipping on my BCAAs uh, while I talk to you guys because I wanna stay hydrated. Thirsty. Anyway, so um, the food has gone down a little bit. I think um, since the last time I talked to you guys, I am now at 125 grams of carbs and I'm only doing one refeed at um, a, an extra 125 grams of carbs um, every seven days, so once a week. And um, I like that I have it on my Saturday leg day. I can fit in some treats um, on my day off. And then I also um, have really ramped up the cardio. And what I'm doing now is uh, three 20 minute sessions of HIT, so high intensity interval training, and I'll be doing some of that today um, after my back workout with my husband. Um, and then on top of the days I do HIT, I do another 20 minutes of medium intensity steady state cardio. And then on three days where I'm not doing HIT, I do 40 minutes of medium intensity steady state cardio. So we just kind of like ramped that up um, a little bit every day since last week and then since the week before. So I think my calories have stayed about the same, um, except I know we extended uh, the amount of days in between my refeed. So um, the scale just like dropped today. And so I stepped on the scale and I'm 138. This whole prep I pretty much hung out uh, around 140. So I'll be like up a few pounds, maybe down to like 139 at the lowest lately. Um, so 138 is definitely like my all time low, which is pretty cool. So um, it means things are happening and I'm not really, I mean, I knew things were happening, don't get me wrong. Like it's obvious from the pictures that there's huge body composition changes being made, which is, it's so crazy to be doing something so extreme like this um competing and like seeing how bodies really respond because i think it's so easy for like general public to like change a few th things in their diet and then two days later expect to see like drastic results and um you know i can tell you straight up like in the off season i am following my nutrition to a t um i rarely will even go out to eat i'm just not really that person Okay, so my husband called in the middle of what I was saying um, to tell me that he's on his way to the gym, so I'm going to meet him there. Um, but before I do, I think I was just talking about how, um, you know, I'm very strict in my off-season just because I like to be. I mean, um, I have big goals, and, like, if something like food um, is, you know, one of the factors that I can just control to help me get to that goal, like... For me, that's not a big deal to do that. And so I'm very strict in the off season and then coming into a season, I'm like weighing everything by the gram. So, um, you know, and, and accounting for everything, you know, it's not like um, throwing sauces on things and not counting them or like, you know, having little free bites here and there. Like I'm actually very on point with my nutrition in season. Um, whereas I might like do a little bit more of that in the off season. Um, just having like little bites or not, you know, maybe not tracking absolutely everything, but like intuitively knowing because I do it year round that, um, you know, I, like eyeballing stuff and being able to kind of see what it is. Anyway, I do that and it's months and I don't see a change on the scale, but I see huge compositional changes from making adjustments with things like increasing cardio and decreasing 
my calories and um, specifically my macronutrient macronutrient ratios um, because you really want to have the optimum ratios to be able to maintain that muscle while you're dieting down um, but lose as much fat as possible and you're gonna lose a little muscle too but you want to prevent that from happening as much as possible because that's what an off season is all about you guys is getting up the calories to get your metabolism back up to a place where you can start cutting again and see that fat loss um, but also to be able to grow muscle you, to be able to have lean mass and develop lean mass I mean that it all happens outside of the gym when you're in recovery and you know, being able to fuel the workouts with carbohydrates and um, calories, it's just so important. So anyway, it's all a process and um, these things take time. And so I might not see a big change in weight right away with some of these things, but the weight will come and it's coming. And so, um, I should say the weight loss, but the weight will come too, <laughs> going in the opposite direction. Um, so, you know, it's not magic, guys, and it doesn't happen overnight. And if you think it happens overnight, you probably did something like manipulated your water intake or changed that up or had a salty meal or something that, like, us people who do this all the time, obviously, like, are so in tune with what the cause and effect relationships are with some of those things. It's not necessarily like huge fat loss, huge fat gain. That doesn't really happen like that. So anyway, that's what I have to say about that. And now I am going to heat up an alpha meals, chicken and rice, um, before I go to the gym and meet my husband there and get a badass lift in. So my lifts, I, like I'm still increasing weights. I'm hitting PRs which is nuts. I'm hitting PRs on my lifts and um, I am, what, eight weeks out tomorrow and I'm hitting PRs on my lifts? Like, how does that happen? Um, it's so cool. I'm really, I'm just so happy with this prep. Um, I've been pushing at this prep harder than I think I ever have before. Um, but part of it is the motivation behind the results that I'm seeing because of it and because I know what it takes. I've gotten to that point where I'm not, I know what it takes for me to feel competitively lean. I'm not going to pretend like it happens without working for it. You've got to work for it. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and finish my BPI, BCAAs, uh, drink some pre-workout. So I'm going to have the 1MR in blueberry lemonade, uh, one of my favorites, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, probably have that in the car after I finish my pre-workout meal, uh, which is a good amount of uh, protein and carbohydrates in that. So um, yeah, just feeling my body appropriately for the job I'm asking it to do, which is grow some muscle and lose some fat. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.